Hello, hello. Today I want to talk about accessibility in parking lots. Whether you're abled or disabled, these are some things you may want to consider. I am an ambulatory wheelchair user with a disability parking placard, but I do not have an accessible vehicle currently. Um, what I do have is a foldable power chair that I keep in the trunk of my car. So the first thing I want to talk about is the striped lines on either side of the accessible parking space. These in particular say no parking, but even if they didn't, you never park on these. You never obstruct them, period. Not with your car, with your motorcycle, with your bike, with your shopping carts, with your pretzel carts, with your snow piles, with your trash, nothing. These are access aisles and they're meant to be clear at all times. Their purpose is to have enough room and level ground for disabled people to exit and enter their vehicles safely or at all, particularly in the cases of those who are enter and exiting their vehicles with their mobility aid or those who have wheelchair accessible vehicles where the ramp deploys on either side. And did you know, in those cases, if someone needs that extra space in order to safely exit and enter their vehicle and they cannot find an accessible spot, or maybe they don't have their placard yet, they may need to take up two parking spaces in order to do so. Think about that the next time you get upset about someone parking like a jerk because that might be the case. Because my wheelchair comes out of the trunk of my car and I'm able to walk over to it most of the time, if there is a space available close to the accessible parking spaces, then I will park here instead in consideration of those who need the access aisles in order to take their mobility devices out or to deploy their ramps. I still need to be close enough to the accessible parking spaces though because I do need the access aisles typically to lead me to the access lane to then lead me to the accessible entrance into a location. There are a couple different ways I use accessible spaces. If I am not using my wheelchair, I may or may not be using my cane, then I need the space that is closest to my destination because my ability to walk is very limited. Side note, just like I consider disabled folks who might need the access aisles when I'm parking, I hope able-bodied people might consider that if they are able to walk a little bit further or aren't necessarily in any time crunch, maybe leave the closer parking spaces available for someone who might really need it as well. Please. The other times I use accessible spaces, I am using my wheelchair. And in case you never noticed, most wheelchairs leave you rather short, which can make parking lots a much more dangerous place. Attempting to pass by cars that may not see you as they back out due to your height. Eesh. So for that and many other disabilities, the access aisles typically lead to an access lane, which is a marked accessible path where one does not have to cross a vehicular lane or attempt to get in between cars in order to get to their destination. Also just to add, because it's here and I love mentioning it, this is what I think all sidewalks should look like. <laughs> Smooth, level, and with a ramp or curb cut on the side of the level ground. When the sidewalk itself dips, it makes it incredibly difficult to not roll off into the street. This is a great sidewalk for bipeds and wheelchair users alike. And that's all I have for you today. I have to go run my errands, but if you appreciated this video, please consider becoming a Patreon patron. It is how I keep these videos coming. And as I mentioned before, I'm trying to save enough money for an accessible vehicle for myself. Also subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you eventually. Bye.